coronavirus outbreak in South Africa, CRISP started preparing for it and rose to the occasion in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. In early January 2020, CRISP worked with other international groups and developed Genome Detective, an open source software tool to help with the speedy analysis of the first SARS-CoV-2 genomes. Since then, the software has been used by thousands of scientists all over the world. In February, CRISP began with capacity building and the training of thousands of healthcare workers in order to prepare them for the frontline response. CRISP also organized critical supply chains for reagents and personal protective equipment and optimized protocols for qPCR diagnostic testing from Thermo Fisher Scientific and the Beijing Genomics Institute. In March, CRISP started performing qPCR testing with Caprisa as part of a sentinel population cohort to determine when SARS-CoV-2 infections were first seen in South Africa. In April, our team of infectious disease specialists led an investigation into a local nosocomial outbreak early on in the pandemic. Lauded by science as one of the most important and in-depth studies of nosocomial transmissions globally. CRISP also began whole genome sequencing of the virus to track how and when it was introduced into the country. This data helped to understand how the virus arrived in South Africa and to inform policy early on in the government's response. To date, CRISP has sequenced over a thousand genomes. Critical data analysis began in real time and key partnerships with NextStrain and GIS Aid allowed for in-country curation of all data. CRISP was invited by the World Health Organization and the Africa CDC to join the Genomic Surveillance Network. The Network for Genomic Surveillance in South Africa was launched in June, providing a platform for key collaborations between five NHLS virology labs around the country and neighboring academic institutes. In July, CRISP began assisting the NHLS qPCR testing backlog, processing thousands of samples in four weeks. The Minister, as well as the Director General of the Department of Science and Innovation, commended CRISP for its innovative efforts and critical contribution towards the response effort. The KwaZulu-Natal Research Innovation and Sequencing Platform known as CRISP, in partnership with the Center of AIDS Program for Research in South Africa, CAPRISA, and the Africa Health Research Institute, have validated the quantitative polymerase chain reaction and sequencing protocols from two manufacturers for COVID-19 testing. CRISP's future developments include expanding diagnostic services beyond KZN to help with public health in other provinces. Collaboration with the Dubé Trade Port to set up a satellite office. Through this partnership, we will leverage DTP systems to import bulk raw reagents. This will result in more rapid health diagnostics. Our business development team are moving to the DTP to intensify our marketing efforts and enable easy and more frequent interactions with organizations from other provinces and countries. Our aim is to make a significant contribution to healthcare and the development of a strong bioeconomy in South Africa.